Hey guys, greetings, that's uh, Wolf, uh, welcome back to the Wolfenberg um, channel. So today <laughs> I was working here a little bit in my new studio and um, uh, today I wanted to show you what I did about a drum trigger. So we have this drum kit here, um, it's a Mapex uh, Horizon, pretty sounding well, but we had some problems with, uh, with uh, getting the kick drum recorded or, or basically when we do jams here. We had some issues of the bass drum, so the sound was not really striking so much. Uh, I used a standard Shure microphone for that. It's uh, over there here, that one I used. But uh, that didn't really give a uh, good sound, so I was trying to experiment a bit with drum triggers, and uh, I bought a few of these here. So, let me see. It's a piezo microphone inside, and then it's connected. It has this... Um, 6.3 millimeter connector and that basically has to go then somewhere in the drum and it would uh, trigger um, I will show you the setup so what I did is I was experimenting a lot of where to put the this uh, drum tri this um, drum trigger I first tried to put it outside on the better um, uh, part that was not working then I tried to just put it inside of this pillow was also uh, some, sometimes I had problems with uh, some sort of double triggering. So that means basically that um, every time you kick, uh, use the kick drum, you would uh, have uh, then two triggers. And even sometimes the snare would uh, trigger this drum, which is of course pretty bad because you, you want only uh, every time you hit the kick drum. So it was a little bit of experimentation. And I think after one or two hours of trying, um, I found out that quite a good position is here. Right, you see it here, right between the two drum batters, and oh, <laughs> yeah, so there was one sound already, and then the cables go in here, actually my drum computer has a trigger port inside, so I programmed just a basic uh, drum pattern, bass drum pattern, and uh, the way it's working here with this, um, with this, um, this trigger. I use it here on channel 3. Um, uh, I go inside, I have a, then a number 3, the gain is pretty low. I used to build a little more than highs than the standard lows. And I put the signal on the aux channel here and from the aux channel where I receive it, I go through into the trigger in of my drum computer so every time and there's a little LED, so every time I hit the bass drum, I should see this little, little red lamp coming up. And then out of the bass, ba so basically what it would trigger, it would trigger just one single note of my bass drum pattern. So every time I hit it, the, one of these bass drum kicks would be played. And then I'll go out, through the line out, into the mixer, and then through the PA. And how we can, I can give you a little demonstration how that sounds. I mean, I'm a guitar player, not a bass drummer, uh, not a not a drummer, but <laughs> I like experimenting with all the things. So first I'll give you a little uh, demonstration how it sounds without, uh, without the kick. Actually now we have removed this, uh, this resonance, so I found out it doesn't sound so bad. <laughs> through the microphone the sound was not so uh, amazing and from the from the kick drum so now with this kick drum trigger <laughs> we can now play double bass blast attacks because uh, that's now really cutting through the mix of the band to that. well it's pretty pretty <laughs> So now I'm seated here at my drum kit. Once again, I'm the guitar player, not the drummer. Actually, it's my drum kit and it's my studio. But I'm not so good drummer, I can do some. But anyway, listen to this kick sound. It sounds pretty good, at least from here. It's got exactly that kind of bottom end, that punch, and also the crispy kick. So that's uh, pretty much what, what, what you need as a drum. I 
complicated things, either double bass or slow. But it sounds pretty good. Thanks for watching, stay tuned.